Joshua Peterson here at Peterson Electric. I want to talk to you today about a hot water heater. Um, the fuse burnt up right here, and that was a concern. It was on this leg. This was originally wired at a single phase option in here. Our concern is that if you take the kilowatt rating at 18,000 for three separate elements and divide that out by 1.73, and then hit that times 125% for your wire size and divide it by 210 voltage, you're gonna get 62 amps on this unit. Um, my amp probe is showing me though 37 amps, okay? So on, this, on the three phase side, um, it's really less than what I'm getting on my formula, um, but my meter's saying 37 amps to 38 on each leg. It was originally wired where on the single phase side, we had blacks and yellow together and we had reds and blue. But now it's designed that we pulled in a third leg all the way 15 foot through that wall to that box, another five foot down, another three foot down. And then we wired it in where the blacks go to black, the yellow blue goes to yellow to blue, and the reds go to red. So across the element, we're only getting 21 amps per each leg on each side of the element. But putting those together coming out, we're getting from the resistance almost 40 amps or 37 amps which you can kind of feel that voltage move there. Um, but what I wanted to explain to you guys is why this thing had originally blue, and that's right here, uh, that busman blew up. Um, but it did melt the fuse cartridge. So again, if you did the math based on 18,000 kilowatt, dividing that out by a single phase, you're gonna get yourself divided by 210 volts, so this says it's 240 volt. When you lower your, um, your voltage, your amperage goes up. So this was run, supposed to be running 85 amps, which then would require a number one or two gauge wire at single phase. Um, personally, the six gauge is gonna do just fine. If I'm truly drawing 37 amps, this THW and dash two is good up to 60 amps and 31015B column. So if you look guys look that up in um, article two set, uh, the 2017 code. This video was done, and I, I forgot, I'm trying to tell you guys when the video was done, is um, May of 20, uh, 26 of 2017. Um, don't want to mention the name, but it's a hotel in Fort Collins that we are dealing with. So, um, anyways, got it running. Didn't couldn't find the busman fuse. Did go a little fuse on this. They're FLRN 30 amps. Um, but again, now we're running three phase. Um, kill that disconnector. You know, this is what we got going on in here. Just a knife disconnect. And uh, we finally have three legs now. None of it was identified for which leg. Um, it does. It, I don't know if it really makes a lot of sense how to do it, but you are supposed to do A, B, and C, keeping that uniform through your junction box and even in your panel. So if one leg starts to melt, you can identify quicker which one is having the issue. Because maybe it's not in the breaker. Maybe it's the sub panels being fed by the main panel. So keeping in mind, it will show itself down here, but again, that's all that it was. We did put um, our fluke thermal gun on it and I was reading 150 um, degrees on this and 125 on this block. So as you get a newer block, of course, it's gonna have uh, lower temperatures just because of what's going on over here. Um, we, are, we are keeping an eye on it to see did one age. We did see a little temperature difference on this, these couple fuses once we popped them in and they warmed up. Did smell a little bit of a smell we were concerned about, but after 30 minutes of sitting here, we realized I was just a burn off on the the, the oil on the fuse and then again if you're going to check this you know I'm not a maintenance guy but I am an electrician but I do know a little bit of common sense here but you can just release that pressure valve and wow we're finally hot it took 30 minutes but we are finally hot now so um, we like to stick around a little bit make sure things are running good especially when we're hitting a holiday weekend um, but thanks guys for joining us and let us know if you have any questions bye